Hey guys, welcome to your soulmate reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. I said that. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Also keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Virgo, what messages do we have for, for Virgo regarding the soulmate journey that they're on? How is Virgo soulmate journey going with their soulmate here for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo. Then we have the Page of Pentacles here in the World card. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo could be dealing with another Virgo here or another Earth sign. You might have multiple Earth energies in your chart here. The Hangman here and the Five of Swords. Mm. Some here is coming back with an apology here for hurting you. Yeah, for playing games here, for stressing you out. So, you know, I do feel like someone here is coming back with an apology or an offer here because they feel like they have unfinished business here with you. They're spying on you. They're watching you here. And I feel like this person is definitely losing sleep over you. I do feel like their plan is to win you back or to have some sort of conversation here with you. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, um, I do feel like someone here is definitely coming in to apologize for something that they did here that was unfair here. Okay, some of the Page of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the World card, and the Two of Cups. Someone here wants to bring this, someone here feels like the story between you and them is not over, it's not done yet. Queen of Pentacles in the page here, some, there could be a, a bit of an age difference here. If there's no age difference, it's like a maturity level difference here. The Hangman and the Two of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Wands here. Yeah, somebody here caused you a lot of pain here because I feel like this person, you know, perhaps made you wait around here, okay? Perhaps this person had other options here, okay? Um, you know, perhaps, you know, you could have been in this energy of like, you know, if this person's gonna make, make, make me wait around, you know, I'm just gonna make a decision for this person and just leave this person here because this person can't, des can't decide on me. Tell me the Nine of Swords here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Nine of Swords, and also we have the Eight of Cups here. So what we have is that, Virgo, you're walking away from this person for good here. And as you're walking away from this person, this person's definitely trying to message you, trying to chase you around, trying to spy on you here. I feel like this person's definitely in deep regret here. This person wants to apologize. And like I said, I feel like this person feels like the story between you and them is not over. They want to continue this here, okay? Um, you know, moving forward, I see this person disappointing you again still. Yeah, I see this person hurting you. I still see this person doing what they're doing here, but let's just take a look as what they did before. What else do we have for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know, look out for work on when it comes to the soulmate journey here for Virgo? For Virgo. So we have the Page of Wands here and the Seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Aries, Leo, Sag. What am, what am I talking about here? The Knight of Cups here and the Eight of Wands. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands here. Nine of Cups and the Fool. Yeah, I, I just feel like this fairy tale story between you and them is not over here, basically. I feel like this person's romanticizing about you, fantasizing about you. They're looking for a new beginning. This person wants to invest in you. They're in love with you. And I feel like this person just kind of like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do this. I want a new beginning here with Virgo. Like, like, yeah, let's make this happen. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy in the page of wands.
they want to put their efforts into this connection here, but I also feel like from yours end here, from your side here, Virgo, I feel like this is something that you don't really want to look back on here with this individual. The Seven of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands. The Knight of Cups here, and we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like this person aggravates you. I feel like this person annoys you. I feel like you're st like still pissed off about this individual. We have three out of the four fives here. So there's just a lot of conflict. There's a lot of changes happening in this relationship. You know, I feel like you're making positive changes for yourself because I feel like you just can't control the other person. You know, you can't convince the other person. You know, you can't make the other person change here if they're not ready to change. Um, but you know, I just feel like you've been through a lot with this individual and I feel like for you, you know, you just want to close the door on this person here. While Walk away. We have the eight, nine of cups here and the ace of swords. I feel like this person definitely is telling you the truth here about what they're feeling here towards you is that they're in love with you. Um, it seems like one of the things I'm getting here is that their words don't really match your actions here. Yeah, their words don't really match their actions here. And I feel like that could be one of those aggravating things to you here too, you know? Because of that, you know, you might be getting confused or that you, this person's giving you whiplash or something like that. This person's giving you a headache. We have the Fool card here and the Ace of Pentacles. They're looking to start things over with you again. I do feel like this person's ready to commit to you. My only concern is that, like I said, there's a bit of an age difference here, perhaps an age gap. Or that if it's not an age gap, it's like a maturity level difference. I just feel like this person's very immature. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on for September 2024 when it comes to the soulmate journey here for Virgo. Ace of Cups here, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Moon, Knight of Wands here, and the High Priestess. Perhaps it took this person, it took what happened to make this person realize that they really love you here. I do feel like this person's definitely chasing you around with puppy dog eyes. You know, I, I feel like, you know, like I said, I feel like the story between you and them is not over. I feel like this person fears, fears losing you. I feel like this person's going to do everything that they can to sort of like, you know, catch you. But with the high priestess here, perhaps, you know, like I said, you guys could be completely disengaging and ghosting this person here. You know, I feel like you just know that this is the right thing to do is to not have any, any sort of conversation or talk to this person at this point here. Okay. We have the two of pentacles and the ace of wands here in the... Uh, justice card, I feel like this person's definitely doing everything that they can to have this new beginning here with you. You know, with the justice card here, you know, I do feel like this person, it seems like this person's definitely trying to tell the truth or that they're balancing things out here. But I also feel like at the same time here, like I feel like you're trying to get away from this person. With the Empress here and the Chariot here, yeah, I feel like you're making a decision to move away from this. You know your worth here. You're reclaiming your power here. You're leveling up here. So I feel like through this experience here, I feel like you've learned a lot. You see, with the Six of Cups here and the Strength card and also the Death card here. Someone here is missing you a lot. I feel like this person does not want this connection to end. They don't want this story to end here with you. They feel like the story is not over. So I, like I said, I feel like this person just wants to continue this here. Okay. I really don't see this person really maturing and growing up here. Yeah. Like if this person makes any changes here, I feel like it will be just temporary, you know? And I feel like this person will revert back the way that we were before. You know, I do believe that certain people that really want it, they can change. But obviously, you know, unfortunately, there are certain people that just can't. And I feel like in this situation, I feel like you just need to use your best discernment and trust your intuition here. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.